Today we're going to be meal prepping eight breakfast burritos that come in at just over 44 grams of protein and 500 calories each. This is a simple recipe to make that yields a week's worth of high protein breakfast in about 20 minutes or less. Plus at the end of this video I'll share a spreadsheet that allows you to scale it to whatever number of burritos you want to make at one time. So let's get right into it. We're going to start off with our avocado cream sauce which is made up of five ingredients, Greek yogurt, avocado, lime juice, garlic, and herbs. So weigh these out according to your ratios, add them to a blender and puree. Next, weigh out your kale and add it to a pan over medium heat and cook it for a few minutes until you get a little bit of browning and it's reduced quite a bit. You can use a dome to help this process along if you have one. If not, use any lid you can find. While your kale's going, measure out your turkey sausage and brown it in another pan over medium heat until you get a nice crumbly texture. The final thing to prepare is eggs and egg whites, so measure those out and then add them to a pan on super low heat. Use a nonstick if you have one. And to get these eggs nice and fluffy, we're going to do a slow scramble. So you want to keep the heat on low, as tempting as it is to bump it up, and continue to stir all the way through the cook. Continuing to stir throughout will keep the eggs from forming large curds and will work really nicely in the burritos. So at this point we have all of our ingredients ready and we can assemble. Start by layering on some avocado cream sauce, followed by a little bit of kale, some turkey sausage, and finally some eggs. Now I'm no expert at folding burritos, but here goes. Grab the sides and fold up the fillings into the center and start to roll the opposite side over onto itself until you get a nice snug fit. It took me a few tries, but I got the hang of it pretty quick. As long as you use about the same amount of ingredients per burrito, you should come out to the right macros in the end. Here are the numbers if you want to scale this recipe, starting with one burrito, four burritos, eight burritos, 16 burritos, and 32 burritos. I've also attached a link to this spreadsheet in the description below if you want to scale this to any other number. I've really been enjoying these burritos for breakfast and I hope you guys do too. It's really easy to keep them in the freezer for a while, so try them out. And if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel for more like this. Thanks, see you next time.